more extreme. The action aspect of it is much more complex. Call it choreographed insanity, screening cars, mass trucks out of control, perhaps the most audacious car chase in the history of cinema. Action so intense, they built a freeway from scratch to pull it off. When you flew into San Francisco, you could see it from the sky. It was cool to drive on. It was two sides, two three-lane directions with overpasses. 1.4 miles, three lanes of traffic, uh, all brand new asphalt. It's a giant playground, is what it became. A playground fraught with danger as the stars push themselves to their physical limits to do many of their own pulse-pounding stunts. For this scene, Lawrence Fishburne and Carrie Ann Moss were actually in the car as it appears to spin out of control. And Carrie Ann jumped on a bike for this high-speed cat and mouse chase. Carrie Ann basically had some motorcycle backgrounds from her childhood. She did very, very well. They all excel with instruction. Every detail of the action was meticulously planned for maximum visual fear. Cameras were placed inches away from speeding vehicles so you'd actually feel like you were there. Cars were sliced in two so they would come apart on impact and stunt coordinators literally dodged death over and over to make each shot better than the next. But perhaps the biggest risk of all when stunt coordinators decided to choreograph one of the most ambitious multi-car chasings ever attempted. Almost unheard of, all the action would happen simultaneously, something rarely ever done because one wrong move and you've got an imminent disaster. Two cannon rolls in it, two dragging pipe ramps, two T-bones and a jack icing truck all in the same 250 feet of the freeway all at 60 miles an hour and choreographed to do that and to do it twice.